Welcome back to a brand new video, I've got some black powder. Some of you wanted to see new games, so I've decided to upload a small guide to help you a little bit, um, give you a better KD at GIB. Do know that th this guide is far from perfect, and it's just a couple tips that you could use. Feel free to correct me or add anything down in the comment section. And also, I'm not forcing you to play like this. If you like it, I'm glad it could help. If you don't, well... Go on, keep playing as you wish. It's not really my issue, I'm just trying to help you with this. Excuse me if some words might sound repeated throughout the video as I wrote the script after I gathered all the clips. So anyway, let's just jump right into it. Checking corners. One thing that many people don't do at all is be, be aware of their surroundings. Most people are just utterly blind sometimes. By ignoring your surroundings, you're pretty much just sentencing yourself to failure. This includes, but it's not limited to, not checking around corners, being aware of bombers, or accidentally milling them, causing a, a funny thing to happen. Although, there's not too much to do about the latter, you're most likely also to kill your teammates rather than yourself with it. Runners can also camp around the corners, and you can spot them more easily this way before they tackle you. So, check around the corners, I recommend going to third person, as I'm going to show you in a moment. Or it's always nice to try and avoid getting destroyed. Moving on, assume that your teammates are bad. Always assume that your teammates are low intelligence beings. Most likely, most likely, they're not gonna help you and will leave you for dead. Even if they're in front of you or besides you, yeah, they're just likely to just leave you there and I'm pretty sure that you know what I'm talking about. Even if they do notice you, most likely they'll just wait right until the, the, the uh, last moment to save you. Always look out for yourself and try to put yourself before others. However, this does not mean that you're going to leave your teammates behind. Remember to always be a helpful member of the team. Although you always have to be careful too and uh, put your health above others sometimes. But this does not mean that you should always be doing that. Just exercise caution and you should be okay. Don't try to be a hero all the time either and sacrifice yourself. Although on some occasions you could if you chose to be honorable. Dying to runners is pretty common. So once you get tackled just Start to spam help or something in the chat so people won't, will notice you quicker. As sometimes people won't just see you until it's too late. And most imp importantly, to avoid all of this from happening in the first place, just stick with the rest. Stick with your other teammates. That way, mm, you're gonna be avoiding most of your deaths like that. And you're gonna be saved a lot more often. Although it's not always the case, try to keep yourself alive at all costs and don't be the teammate leaving others behind whilst they just watch people die. Just don't be that person, be helpful and also be more careful. For next point, um, stay with your teammates and communicate. Fall behind and you'll be buried out the back later. By falling back, you're exposing yourself to the zombies that spawn around the back area once all the players have left. Not only this, but w once you get grabbed or tackled, which can happen, you're less likely to be saved if you're sticking behind and alone. That is, unless you have a battle battle with you, but that's unlikely. You're in the dark, someone might just swing and hope to save you if you're sticking with the rest, otherwise you can just start saying your goodbyes. Another thing is, don't rush ahead. Especially if you don't know what's ahead of you, or just don't rush ahead alone, as it most likely will lead to you dying. Here are some example clips. Dodging and weaving. Dodging and weaving refers to the act of dodging an enemy around. I recommend doing it in third person, although you can also do it in first person. But in third person, you could see you're gonna run in a zombie if you're going, if you're backtracking a bit or backpedaling. Do note that this method is not entirely foolproof, and you can still get grabbed, and, and most likely you can also get damage. However, 
we will still save you from a couple grabs and hits if you're doing it good enough. Back up, move around the zombie, attack quick, move them fast. For waves of zombies, this can also work if you, you start falling back behind. However, do what you do, don't get cornered. Just keep backing up behind and make sure that there's nothing behind you. Or just preferably stick along with the, with the rest of your teammates so they can help you get rid of the horde. Here are some clips of how to weave and dodge, although do know that I'm not a master and you can also do it as much as you want and how you wish. This point is to run away. It's okay to run away, sometimes. Sometimes it's alright to run away from a situation that you know that will not end up well. This also applies for reloading. AKA, don't get that reload done in front of a horde, or else bad things will happen. Um, don't reload near zombie spawn, and also don't do anything that makes you vulnerable, such as healing, blessing, or just healing another teammate. Um, you know that tag riders can tackle you mid animation, so when you get, um, there's nothing that the other person will be able to do, or if they get grabbed, you're also gonna be stuck in the animation until it's over, and most likely that will end up will end up with you and them dying. Running away from a hole while somebody's getting killed is sometimes okay, as sometimes there's no chance of saving them. However, you always should try to save them, as there's also something that can be done with the crucifix, shotguns or grenades, whatever possible, although wins are not too recommendable. And just do this if your life is terribly in danger, uh, sometimes sacrificing yourself will not really end up well unless that there are uh, there, um, more important roles such as a priest. Just run away, it's for the better sometimes. And again, sometimes. Don't leave your teammates behind and don't leave people behind. If you have a gun, use it to help people. If not, try your best and if you know it's over, just scram away. Miscellaneous tips. Now this is towards the end of the video. This, these are outside the main tips. They're mostly just quality of life. Um, some might turn the tide, some might not. But um, grave camping. Yeah, here they grave go. Grave camping is the uh, very well known method of camping the graves at Leipzig. Basically, what you do is you need four people, five at most, to camp graves and to keep the hole from forming by killing the zombies that are spawning in from them. At Leipzig, always grab a torch of your own. Trust me, this could save your life. After you're done burning the barricade, make sure you have one. Even if others grabbed it, they could always die, and people that don't have it, they could always just forget about it. Because you don't need to blow up the wagon at the first gate in Leipzig. And trying to go back for a torch is suicide. Another thing I should have probably mentioned is that you can actually attack zombies through these walls. Well, you can see it right now because we just cleared it. However, it's always recommendable that you try that, and no bumpers will not blow up on you, unlike in the house on the top. Alright, now it's the end of the video. That should be all for today. Thank you for watching, you made it to the end, thank you so much. Feel free to give me any tips, corrections, or anything down in the comments, plus questions. See you in the next one. Goodbye.